future, well, I'm 72 years old, so I don't know what kind of future I will have, but I will worry about my grandchildren, their future. I have hope of going places, of going different places, of helping people, things, and, of getting, and getting a good job to support family and make my family proud. The world is beautiful, like this sculpture, and it's, you know, Let's clean up this hot mess so that we don't have to deal with what we see here going on, with it melting and disappearing before our own eyes. When the art is actually beautiful and um, we're just such visual people, so why not have the message be that um, direct? It's right here, this, this confluence of streets at Madison Square Park and Flatiron District, and it's this melting words. It's very incredibly languid and poignant the future as it drips and melts before us. This depicts in a, in a very conceptually valid way what it's about. And the future, which is our world, is slowly disappearing. It's really nice for this to be happening in conjunction with the marsh. You have a lot of people like ourselves who have now dispersed and for there to be another echo of yeah, people are talking about this, caring about this, so it's important for it to exist here in the streets and it doesn't always speak to everyone in a gallery or museum context. You want to, to engage, you want to stop and think about it, you want to share. This is um, the kind of art that I hope can, I mean, you, this one isn't going to be here tomorrow, and we know that. Uh, a lot of people are, are, you know, coming and taking pictures and they want to take, you know, like a memory with them, you know, because they know that it's melting away the art, so tomorrow it will not be here. They like to touch, you know, the ice. So, you know, like somehow they, they like to interact with the art because it's, you know, like has a time frame. This way to put it in the middle of the square by everybody it means people, they are going to see it and they are going to remember it. In a city, you're, you're surrounded by language, you're surrounded by signs, you're surrounded by advertising. It was nice to see a sort of a pertinent kind of text, like the future melting. It's kind of got a lot of connotations from a semiotic level. I think this is a, a really important for public art because it actually brings people who are not in the march and not connected to the march directly in contact with the issues. And also the pace, it's such a slow pace the way it melts, so I, I like that too in a, in a hectic city especially on this corner, I think it's really effective. When do they expect that it will fall down? Do they have a prediction? Maybe 8, 9 o'clock at night. At the, in the evening, okay. It'll be back. interesting to see which letter will go first. <laughs> My hope is that people really get touched and get interaction. Definitely something is going on that is not right. So I think we're stuck on making everyone realize that there's a problem because some people still don't believe there's a problem. People have made more impact on our environment than the environment itself. We have caused much of this change that is occurring. So it's Anthropocene is a very good term for it, I think, because it's, it's addressing that this is caused by us. We've got to get the big guys. And you have to do the big, you have to be big, you have to, in your face, this is big, in your face, this is what's going to happen in the future. And, and it's our future dripping away, melting away, okay? And we could do something about it. The planet is suffering. We are going through this, this uh, mess of, you know, changes in the climate that we could handle, we could do something about. And I think that's what we need to have come out of this. If we define it, define what we have to do, address the political will, and try to do something. I don't know what the future will look like, but I, I know that there will be one, and I'm committed to working for it. Through things like this, where it's very clear that people come together and they understand what it is about, that we can we can have conversations about what our future will look like. And it's just about like really putting people together, you know, because if like there's you, there's me, there's him, we're already three, right? So it can get more people and just get more motivated and then things can change. And I do believe on that.